Hello everyone, my name's Hugh here and today I'll be going over on how to input your invoices or purchase order into Xero. Alright, so first things first, what you want to do is log into Xero and you head over to the, the dashboard section. So right up here. So once you click there, if you scroll down, you can click on new bill. So this is how you would input your invoice. In my case, I'll use an example of my own, a sample here from Evolucity. Okay, and uh, the reason why it popped up automatically is because I have input this vendor information in before, so Zero does remember your previous vendor. All right, the next step is to input the invoice date. So look for that for August 8th. And then the due date of the invoice, which is 8.15. All right, so this little box here for reference, this is where you would want to put your invoice number just so that if you do need to look for an invoice number, you're able to use this reference. And in my case, it would be 1236. Okay. So this little icon right here to the right hand side, if you click on that, you're actually able to upload your invoice copy. I personally think this is a very neat feature just because if you are in the books and you need something to reference off of, you can click here and just open up the invoice and they'll show you a little copy right here. You can also download it or even print it out. Okay. Next step will be to input the description. So let's input that. And it's that easy. Copy and paste. All right, so for zero here in the invoice, maybe you don't have a quantity on there. However, for zero, you do have to put at least one so that it can calculate the quantity with the unit price, whether it's a service or a product. All right, so I'm gonna input the amounts next. You can just copy and paste. All right, so now uh, that you have these items broken down based on the invoice, and the next step would be to choose the account that these items should go under. So for example, maybe it's an office expense, you put office expense, all right? And then we can see there's, there's a couple accounts here, and then part of it, let's say it's postage and delivery, right? Um, now the invoice here doesn't show any breakdown on taxes, um, this could be because there's no tax associated or it could be inclusive. So if you do choose that, it will show you that tax rate column here where it's a tax exempt. So the next step would to confirm the total with the invoice. So it's $536.48. And we can confirm that the balance due is correct. So we have inputted all the information in correctly. All right, so once you confirm that, the next step is to click Approve. All right, so this window will pop up next. It does say awaiting payment. However, um, at the time of this video, it is August 24th. The due date is August 15th. And what I want to show you next is where exactly is this invoice now? So if we go back in here. We click on Overdue. This is where you would see Evolu City invoice that I just inputted in, and it does show that it is overdue, as well as any other invoices that are past the due date. So a very good feature here to let you know that if there are any outstanding invoices, uh, these are the bills that are outstanding. So if you like this video, if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.